Nearly every day of our lives, we start out with pretty much the same routine. Get out of bed, take a shower, hopefully get dressed and let the day begin. For most of us, this is pretty mundane, but what you probably didn't realize is that there is something going on that is so important, so critical, that once you realize it, it will not only change the way that people see you, but it will change the way that you see yourself. Really? Really? But before I tell you what that is, I need you to do something equally as important. Actually, this is the most important thing I can tell you to do about clothing. When you get dressed, get dressed again. Put on two outfits at the same time. Really? Really? Listen, guys, I'm gonna drop some ancient knowledge that's been lost and pretty much abandoned by the West for the last 400, 500 years since the Renaissance, essentially. Really? Really? And that is that we live in two worlds, two realities, two realms, the physical world and the symbolic world. And both of them live side by side with each other because the world is made up of patterns, so many patterns, and they're everywhere, these patterns, in the world. With every action that manifests, there also manifests a symbolic meaning to that action, almost like a mirror. This is why ancient and medieval maps and art don't make sense if they're taken literally, but it's not because they're stupid, it's actually quite the opposite. It's because they were showcasing the metaphysical and symbolic meaning and aspect of the realities. Today, people think like animals. They cut half of it out. What you see is what it is and nothing more, or it's what people have told you it is. But today, we call it progress. Ironic. These symbolic meanings and realities exist, whether we acknowledge them or not. They are always there. So when you put on your clothes, when you robe yourself in a physical garment, you're also robed in a symbolic garment. And we all do this, most on a subconscious level, but once you recognize this, then you can decide, you can choose which aspects of your personality, your ideals, your beliefs, your message, you want to physically manifest to the world. Why is this even important? Why bother knowing any of this? And this is the most important thing that you must understand. You are an ambassador, yep. You're an ambassador. You're an ambassador to your tribe, your beliefs, your religion, your culture, your friends, your family, your country. You are an ambassador. Every time you walk out those doors, you are taking with you those attributes, those beliefs about yourself and what you represent. You are an ambassador of those ideals. And because clothing has symbolism attached to it in certain meanings, you are professing to the world beliefs in which the clothing represent. It's a great responsibility and a lot of people forget about it. It's the duty of every man, or I'd actually say the fate of every man, that once he walks out of those doors and into the world, he is bringing with him his dignity, his honor, and his beliefs. And an ambassador does the same. An ambassador dresses in the clothing prescribed to him by his president or his king to represent king and country. Wow. Really? And because we are ambassadors, we do the same. Now that does not mean at all that we have to dress up in suits or just get dressed up all the time. It's actually quite the opposite. Take the country Georgia, for example. No, not the state, the country, the ancient country of Georgia. They're very proud of their ancient roots and their former president, Saakashvili, he actually had his ambassadors wear the traditional chokha or tsalawadi when abroad on official meetings instead of a suit like every other Western nation was doing. And by wearing this particular traditional type of clothing, these ambassadors of Georgia are saying a lot about their country without having to say a word. Another example related to Georgia, my Eastern Orthodox boys will understand this, our monks do not dress in layman's clothes. They are always in their long black cassocks and they're obliged to grow out their beards and their hair, order of Samson. And there's a few Greek monks that will go to my local market to get groceries for their monastery. And my friends, a few of them who are not Eastern Orthodox, a few of them thought that they were Jewish rabbis. Now. Ultimately, they were incorrect, but what they were correct in was assessing that these were men of a religious 
order, of a godly order, and on top of that, an ancient godly order. It's not a modern one at all, and that's what they thought. These monks correctly manifested those ideals. So let's say you're a farmer and you're talking at city council and you're representing the farmers in your county against something, right? Maybe it's actually best to wear your jean overalls. Shut up, bird. Let's say you're a farmer and you're F you bird. It may be better to actually wear your jean overalls than a hoodie and sweatpants or even a suit. You dress like a farmer when representing the farmers. Let's say you're in a band and you want to represent the band. When people see you, you want them to think of the band and you want to make it big. Then start dressing like a rock star. As the employee represents the company, as the monk represents his monastery, and as the king represents his kingdom, you must represent your kingdom, your tribe, your culture, your beliefs. So the next time you get dressed, get dressed again. Robe yourself with intention and you'll find that you'll have to ask yourself, well, what do I want to represent? Which in turn, you'll find yourself asking, what do I represent? This is a path towards self-realization. And once you figure out what that is, you'll have the ability to represent yourself to the world openly and without fear. If you guys really liked this video, I'd appreciate it if you liked it and subscribed. And please turn on the bell notification because without it, YouTube just makes it useless. There's no reason to subscribe if you don't hit the bell icon because you won't get notified when I drop a new video. So if you want to see more like this and you want to see me again, no. Just click that bell icon. I would appreciate it. Pop a bless. And let me know in the comment section down below what you guys want to represent in the way you dress. I want to hear this. Let's have a discussion about this, all right? Because as you know, this is a group thing. We're in this together. All right, my homies. I'll see you all next week. Adios. All right. Really?